Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. I'm here with a flip through today of a um, traveler's notebook size uh, journal. And this is a design team project for Artie Mays. And I've mostly in this journal used her kit from, uh, it's called Beautiful Birds. And it was a lovely kit to work with. And I'm just going to flip through this so you can take a look at it and I've been wanting to make a traveler size um, journal for a while my last several journals have been so large that this is uh, this was fun to do this and this kit is designed so you don't even have to shrink the pages down it's ready to go to be a traveler size notebook and I believe it's the standard size so mine is a little larger because the it's mostly the cover because I have like a little skirt down here and uh, it extends up here some so um, but the pages inside are that you know the standard size traveler size notebook so this one um is about nine inches uh but that's the whole you know the fabric it's a fabric covered it's soft it's a soft cover journal and this is about five and one quarter inches wide okay uh, I do have a pretty tassel here that can be removed it's simply tied on the inside and it's got a lot of different um, trims and satin and silk and lace and uh, eyelash trim and yarns and all kinds of fun things so that's that's on the spine it's about one inches a little over one inches one inches wide it's two signatures um and i wanted to show you this beautiful fabric i chose this because um some of the bird images are so colorful and beautiful i just felt like it would lend um nicely to the kit okay in on the cover first of all we have a flip with a little journal on the inside um in behind here we have a nice large tag and this one i had this image right here i had in my stash so let me just put that aside i've got some sorry um not some uh, yeah some sorry silk and then a key on a ball pin and then you can see this beautiful image here was from the kit and i just made a window pocket here and then put a card in here also from the kit uh, this is uh, made out of craft text this little flip out and as a matter of fact underneath this fabric is also craft text um, so you can even take I'm trying to think if I sewed this in this image yeah I did sew the image in because I was going to say you could remove the image but there's a pocket there and there's a pocket in behind here now this flips out you can see I have a little fabric ruffle down here and then some trims here. Um, a little pocket here, all from the kit. This one, this one might not be. This one is, of course, that one is. So, and um, that just tucks right in there. Then we have a little booklet. And these, and here's actually another little tuck spot in this uh both sides i printed on both sides and all of this is in that beautiful large kit okay so this is a nice for extra writing room uh, a lot of linen and cotton paper in here this has all been printed on linen um this flips out so you have journaling room here you can write here just have it for you know it's pretty put a picture and then this pretty um, applique lace here that all just went beautifully with the fabric so I thought that I was glad to find this in my stash and I pretty much used up the rest of it in here uh, this pocket uh, came from the kit and this was out of my stash Okay, so that just folds up like this, and I clip it, and then put all of the cards back in it. And you can see on the edge here, I've got just um, some beautiful uh, mint-colored sari, um, ta sari tie, and you can see on the edge here, I have some ruffled, beautiful uh, fabric here. 
a ruffle or I made a fabric ruffle I should say all right let's when we get in here I've got some more trim here rickrack trim some more of that beautiful trim and then I have lined the inside again with more fabric and there is decorative stitching all the way around and here's some more of that pretty trim and this is a fabric pocket this is a little uh, coin envelope type thing that um, was in the kit. I just tucked this little uh, die cut butterfly in here because I thought it was cute. You can, if you want it in there permanently, you can um, glue it in or put it somewhere else in your book. And then in here, I believe I just have a large, yeah, I got a tag from the kit. So that's in the front pocket. Also, this beautiful um, uh, ephemera card in that I had in my stash. Uh, this little nest and eggs was from the kit, and I put it on this little die cut tag and a little trim. Okay, and then we have a pocket here, uh, both from the kit. Oh, this, whoops, I'm sorry, this is a flip up tag, and this is from the kit and some uh, trims in this pocket with some rickrack and an Edith Holden book page. Now I did make a nice pocket here. We have some pretty die cut up here. And then um, I made a large tag out of this Edith Holden page with these sweet little, um, the sweet little mom birdie and her babies. Uh, there's some stenciling in here. You can see the birds and then the, um, Oh, the flower branch here. We've got some embossing and some trim here. And there's tabs, a lot of tabs. Some of the tabs, uh, most of these, the paper tabs are from the kit. I've sewn them on. And here you can see I have an eyelet and then another key. And then I also have tab, fabric tabs throughout. Um, I printed this image on um, from the kit on um, vellum. We've got some tissue. I've got several of these bags in here for storing. Um, this, uh, I have that tag there, and then these fun uh, little flags, banner flags, whatever you want to call them, are from the kit, and I actually made just a little pocket, and then there's a little, ooh, it's stuck, it's stuck, a little postcard, and that was from the kit. So cute. I, I put several of those little postcards in here. All right, so I have a po two pockets on this side, and in here, I just uh, made one of our coins. Sorry. Hey, guys. Behave. Could you behave? Sorry about that. One dog gets under the other dog's nerves. Oh, did I glue that in there? I think I got it stuck. No. Nope. There we go. Well, 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 kind of. <laughs> so I just have this little paper in this coin envelope, and it's Velcroed, and that's from the kit. A uh, piece of my master board cut down here, and then we've got a couple of tickets, and that's from the kit in this pocket, and then another couple of sweet little cards already shrunk down for you right in that kit beautiful another image and we've got a little wax seal here that i've just simply put on a ball pin on this fabric um this paper is also from the kit look how pretty that is uh, okay edith holden another beautiful image and i printed this one on parchment a lot of it, I have different papers that I printed on. I, I my photo quality paper uh, obviously is going to be in a lot of places, but I also use the cotton linen, or the linen, the cotton, and then the parchment. Now this is from the cover of a 1917 Nicholas Saint Nicholas magazine, and I loved it because we had this girl here looking up at that beautiful. I think that's a cardinal. In the back side, you can see is an old advertisement, so that's original. Um, this is tracing paper, vintage music. I made a little pocket here out of this vintage style and taped it with that tape that everybody's using. It makes it look old. It's not. And then this cute little, um, this little girl playing with her birds. And then one of my fabric or, um, and trim tags, uh, with a key. 
coffee dyed and inked paper tab on this here. Um, another window pocket with one of uh, Artie Mays's images. This is one of her papers, so pretty. Uh, fabric tab pocket here with a large tag from the kit, printed vellum. Uh, fabric, and I've got a little cloisonne bead here on a ball pin. Now all of these can be removed. I have a lot of dangles off the edge of the pages. They can all be removed. Um, this is just one of those key things that I just covered with her little circles and made it into a little dangle. And then we've got some embossing here, and then this, this card was out of my own stash. All beautiful birds. The other part of that St. Nicholas. Um, I have a one of my embellished, I have two embellished paper clips in here. Okay, so this one, you can see the bluebirds, a bunch of the different trims, here's the back. And then this large tag uh, that says bird notes, and this was from my own stash. Edith Holden. Uh, fabric tab and some jade that's some jade and some glass beads another one of the bags is empty in here but I did put uh, made a little vellum um, out of one of her little coin envelopes and then just have a little tab at the top and then one of the pieces of ephemera from the kit and this is one of my cut down master boards there on this side I did a die cut from one of her images and then cut this, this is out of one, a piece from the kit. This is onion skin paper, uh, old, uh, like a vintage style from a business. Um, printed vellum, some stenciling on coffee dyed. Uh, I've got a pocket here with a beautiful journaling card the middle of the first signature, Edith Holden. I went in and looked at all, tried to pull out all of the bird images of the Edith, my Edith Holden book pages. We've got a camera here because I always think about bird watchers taking pictures of um, the beautiful birds. Okay, we've got a couple tags here in one of her pockets. This one here, some trims, little dangle and here and this i think yeah both sides i put the circles from the kit uh some silk made a little pocket out of one of the ephemera and then i have three pieces of ephemera in here one of her little um banner ones and these two cute little postcards got a little uh, pretty trim right here and then a tab and this nice grungy coffee stained paper some inking and some stenciling stenciling vintage music got a fabric flip here for a secret writing spot and that's the same fabric I used on the front and then I made um, a this is satin and made a ruffle and then this beautiful coordinated button coordinating button Another bag, two more pieces of ephemera. This one was from the Graphics Fairy member site, and this one was out of my own stash. This is empty. Another image from the kit, fabric tab. Uh, on the back, I just uh, took one of the pretty images from one of the papers, and I just did a little die cut, and then did this, uh, put this beautiful tag up in there. See the little bird on there? So cute. Vintage book, Edith Holden, a green woodpecker. A bee, and a little uh, ball pin and, pin and an eyelet. Here's a card, um, a, for a journaling card from my own stash, both of these are.
free. Sorry, guys. No. 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 Sorry, guys. Ugh. Do we ever get through one flip through without the bird, without the dogs? Um, green woodpecker. Okay, I already did this, did this, did this. Okay, now we have two more um, tags, uh, journaling cards from the kit, and this just flips out. You have room to write here and then room to write on the back of these. Did some fun stitching there. Um, all these are from the kit. Printed vellum. This is my second um, embellished paper clip. Got a parrot on there, lots of layering. There's the back, and this pretty postcard that says birds. The Natural History Series. Some stenciling. We've got a little tab down here with some trim. Stenciling, music paper. This, I believe, is an envelope, yes, with a little mini uh, Tim Holtz clip. Let me see if I... Yeah, it's, it's empty. And as a matter of fact, I have a few extra pieces somewhere. I put them somewhere, but I'm going to put something in that, so I'm going to leave it out. Uh, this is just a flip. So you have room to journal here. And there's a lot of room to write in here, even though I did do some embellishing. We've got a little squirrel, because I always see birds and squirrels together, at least in our neighborhood. And then the back cover, we have this pretty uh, postcard, vintage style. It is vintage, actually. And then this is just four of her tags that I simply attach together. And the way she puts them on the paper, you can kind of do this. So it's like an accordion and some trim, and that's in there. So that's for a lot, quite a bit of journaling room there, and there is the back. Okay, guys, so this will be in my Etsy shop uh, Tuesday. I think it's the 18th. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I'm filming this on Monday. I believe it's today's the 17th. I don't even have a calendar over here. So, And again, this is from Artie Mays's beautiful birds kit and this happens to be just one of her coin envelopes um, that I'm going to save for my next project okay guys uh, thanks for watching and have a blessed day bye bye